and thank you for visiting Elijah RVs located in Sacramento, California. This is our RV rental walkthrough. Today we are going to be performing an RV walkthrough. Now this vehicle is not the exact vehicle that you may be renting. It is something that may be similar to it or um, it's going to be with the same universal uh, RV options. So in regards to the vehicle. This RV is fully self-contained. All our rentals have unlimited generator usage and we provide 100 free miles per day with 25 cents each additional mile. In regards to this RV itself, uh, mirrors, they fold back and forth. If you're driving around, if you get this mirror, it's not gonna break off. It'll simply move out of the way. But do know that you're about a foot away from the actual RV. So make sure that uh, you're very careful. This RV clearance is around uh, 11 to 12 feet, which really are, you can that height. Now, the one thing you will notice that there's an air conditioner unit on the rooftop. It's about this much more, so do know about that and be careful whenever you drive around something uh, tall. In regards to slide outs, some RVs have slide outs. You can slide them out inside, and that will be shown in the interior walkthrough video. Generators. The generators are usually located on the left side of an RV, and they are our standard Onan 4KY generators. They uh, run off the main fuel tank. Uh, with a quarter tank of gas or less, this will not run. It's made like that on purpose to prevent damage to the generator. If the altitude is not adjusted correctly uh, to the right altitude, it, the generator will also shut off uh, after running for a little while. Right now, the altitude setting is at zero. The different types of setting are around usually from zero to 10,000. And the last thing is oil. If the oil level is low, you would have to check that. Um, uh, because the generator will not run. It has a low oil shut off switch. The oil can be checked in this area. And of course, when you pick up, we'll show it. In regards to other things, the RVs will usually come with storage compartments. They can be found all around the vehicle. All are lockable and unlockable with uh, a universal set of keys. For example, there's a hole right there with the storage. The RVs have city and water connections. This here is a city water connection. It says that right away. A city water connection is when you're at a campground, you would hook uh, up a hose that will pressurize water throughout the whole RV. The other connection may be either uh, a hose screw on or an actual small compartment for water tank fill up. So basically stick a hose in or uh, screw it on. It'll fill the water tank inside the RV. In regards to electricity, RVs, all our, uh, our RVs come with cables that are a total of 10 feet long for plugging into electricity. They are three prong 30 amp cables. You can see them as follows. Some RVs you have to uh, plug that cable back in to the RV as it does have an outlet and that will connect directly to the generator and uh, make sure that you have power when you actually run the generator. Fuel. All the fuel is regular unleaded gas. There is no diesel in our Class C models except for our diesel pusher models in the Class A category. Sewer. Although we dump sewer free of charge for most of our rentals, um, you, the sewer tanks are right here. If you do ever decide on dumping them, you would usually unscrew a cap here, connect a sewer hose that we provide, and pull first uh, either the left or the right lever, depending on the actual uh, tank. You can tell that usually by the black water tank having a thicker hose, the gray water tank having a thinner one. First pull the thick, then the thin, it flows out thick, comes out thin, and then uh, you end up with a cleaner uh, water uh, sewer hose. In regards to storage, many of our RVs have storage in the rear compartment. You can see how much storage you're actually getting in this one. It's three-way entry. Some have two-way, others have one. This RV in particular has a backup camera, so you can actually see where you're backing up. Uh, many of our newer models have this option. Our older models have not yet had that installed, or have not come with that option. For the Again, storage. Awnings. Some RVs have uh, power awnings, others have manual awnings. We will have a video usually attached for a manual awning, but this power awning we will show you. Basically, push a button and it rolls out. RVs, in addition, have uh, outside exterior electricity outlets, outlets, and of course lights. With the 
generator running. The outlets, microwave, and uh, TV. Uh, of course, the air conditioning also will work inside. With it not working, those things will not work. Uh, here you will find the heater. It's very hot. Do not touch this. Here's the water heater, also fairly hot. Uh, in addition, this is actual RV locks. Usually they will have a total of two locks. Be sure those lock them when it's driving around. If not, uh, the door may swing over to open if you have children or somebody standing on it, leaning on it. Make sure you actually both lock it. Many of the RVs have this attachment right here. to actually pull the door open. We have that open. And uh, right here you will find the propane tank. Specifically this RV, but all RVs have propane tanks. The tank is uh, around, uh, for all rentals, around 10 to 12 gallons. And uh, currently the valve is open. Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. And uh, we usually supply the RV full of propane. Now, uh, in regards to propane, you can fill it up at any normal gas station. They often have that now. And uh, be sure to bring it back also full. Thank you very much. This has been Elijah RVs with our RV Rental Walkthrough. And uh, we hope to provide a great service and experience. Make sure uh, you can think of uh, Elijah RVs with the interior RV Walkthrough. This RV is a newer model. It's a 2017 31 foot Coachman Freelander. Your RV may not be the specific vehicle, uh, but it is equipped uh, commonly the same with the same appliances, same on off buttons, etc. So you'll find on most RVs storage on both sides on the tops. You can open them and store a lot of things, really. The beds. This here is that standard dinette. It usually converts into a bed by pulling off this table, dropping it off onto the rails, and laying all the cushions down. Right after that, you're gonna have a full bed. Here, also a standard couch pullout. You would pull this couch out, and you get, in addition, a full uh, bed there. Here, over the top, you will find a queen bed. Now, this is a slider bunk. Um, most Class CRVs have slider bunks. You're actually gonna be able to slide this piece away so that way you don't hit your head while walking back and forth. Ladder. This RV is equipped with a ladder. You can climb onto the top. You put it on the hooks and done. Our newer model RVs come equipped with child safety nets. So if you have children, they're going to be able to sleep on top without falling out. Now, with this RV, there is a slide out. The slide is out. With it in, it's going to be somewhere around here to space. TVs. Many of our RVs come equipped with TVs. And uh, for the TV, it uh, runs off the generator. Um, you can watch movies, it has game hookups, CD, MP3, DVD, auxiliary, really all the setting, everything that you need. The RVs, all RVs have RV roof vents, especially the ones that we rent out. Be sure to close all roof vents while driving on the rental. If not, the vents can fly off. They're known to do that. They're plastic, very light and cheaply made. So make sure that's done. If we go here, we will find a microwave. The microwave runs off the generator. Without it, it will not run. It plugs into the outlets. Or, of course, if you are plugged in at a campground or campsite and you have full hookups with electricity, all the appliances, all the lights, everything in this RV will work off specifically that. There's lights and fan switches. Usually they, they have that right above the gas burners or ovens. Ovens usually would set it to high light and then actually light it with a lighter or spark it. Some RVs have sparks, others do not. It depends on which vehicle it is. For the pilot light, uh, lighting the oven, you would usually set it to the pilot setting, then push. When you push, that's when the propane will actually flow, and on the bottom of the oven, you would actually then light it. In regards to everything else, if we head over here, this is a standard RV refrigerator. This, this is in many of our models. It's been uh, made for quite a long time, actually. Uh, all you have to do is set it to on and uh, really push in both buttons. Right after that, it's going to work. You can adjust the temperature by looking inside the refrigerator. There is a little white knob that goes from warmer to colder. You would adjust it to colder or warmer, depending on what you're interested in. If this check light on the refrigerator comes on, it will mean that this refrigerator does not work. It's made like that on purpose so that uh, it'll notify you that the refrigerator is not on. This will usually come on in the following circumstances. If you are out of propane, uh, one. Two, if the valve on the tank is closed, which by law, whenever they refill it, they're supposed to close it. Or three, if you are either parked on level or we're driving through the mountains. 
When this RV is unleveled, the refrigerator cannot complete its full cycle and it shuts off to prevent damage to itself. Next, um, RVs, all RVs have restrooms and showers. This one has a combo, a restroom and a shower all together. Shower here with the standard on off knobs and an actual switch on the top and of course the restroom. Be sure to fill the bowl before using the restroom. Going this way. The main dashboard in any RV. Uh, some RVs have a little different design but they all really should or have a main dashboard. To turn on the water pump, you turn on the switch that says water pump. Turn on the water heater, you turn on the switch that says water heater. Right away these things will work. Make sure if you turn on the water heater that the pump is on. With the water pump off, there will the water heater will not work, it'll shut off. Slide in and out. If, you're, if the RV is equipped with a slide in or a slide out, you would push the in button to slide it in or the out button to slide it out. Uh, levels. They, uh, RVs also have levels. They will inform you of what this RV has in particular. So for example, LPG is propane. It shows that it's full currently. Battery shows at about two thirds. Fresh water at about two thirds. So fresh. Black water currently empty at E. Gray water currently also empty at E. Generator. To start it up, you have to push and hold the start button up to five times, five seconds each time. If you do not uh, if you hold it for a longer time than that, the generator uh, starter may burn. If it doesn't start in those five times, five seconds, double check the fuel, the oil, and the altitude. When that is done, if it still does not start, prime it. And uh, what you would do is push the start and hold three, four, five, and it started up. With the generator, you will be able to use one of the largest appliances, the air conditioner. You would set it to cool and then adjust the temperature. The air conditioner usually will kick on within five minutes and um, within that time also it'll start blowing cold air. So that's now. So at this time we are almost done with uh, the RV walkthrough. Last point in a moment. Always in most RVs at the entrance there will be an on and off switch for the electricity. Be sure that switch is set to on. That switch is for the auxiliary batteries in the back. When it's set to the off position, the batteries in the back are set to off and they are not charging. If you're driving this vehicle, the alternator will charge the batteries in the back. In addition, if the generator is running, it will also charge the ones in the back. If it is set to off, no charging is happening. And of course, the refrigerator and freezer also aren't working. So make sure that's done. Light switches here also and the awning push button in and out for automatic awnings. Some additional and interesting pointers that you may be interested in. Propane, the things that work off of that are the heater, water heater, oven, gas burners, refrigerator, and freezer. Without it, those things will not work at all. Uh, in regards to the generator, the things that work are the air conditioning, outlets, microwave, and TV. Without it, those things won't work either. Um, that said, thank you for visiting Elijah RVs and we hope to make a great experience. Thank you. And